Hi, welcome to I Am The Light. My name is Tasha and I'll be doing a read for the sign of Taurus. Hey Taurus babies, how y'all doing? How y'all doing? I was debating on whether or not to do y'all's reading because I started to feel a little bit of sleep but I had a cup of coffee. So let's get it. Let's go. If you're new here, welcome. And if you return, welcome back, baby. All right, spirit guides, ancestors, great divine creator. I ask for clear, honest messages on behalf of Taurus placements. Clear, honest messages on behalf of Taurus placements. Sun, moon, Venus, rising. What is it that you got for them? I thank you, Ashe. What you got for Taurus placements? doing Taurus it's been a whole week have y'all been joining me for the collective I certainly hope you have all right y'all we've had some fun over here sometimes we laugh sometimes we be shocked <laughs> it, all it all depends all right spirit let me get five cards for Taurus what you got what you got what you got All right, first card out y'all got is Lady Light. You have the grace and strength to express yourself with class. Listen, even if you're a man, you can have grace and strength. You just, you know what I'm saying? Express yourself with class, okay? You ain't got to be Lady Light. Some of y'all can be gentlemen. But, but whatever you do, conduct yourself with class, okay? Y'all, I'm sorry. I got these cords over here. It says, as I am, don't allow your insecurities to overshadow your remarkable abilities. Some of y'all got some insecurities, and if you do, put them in check. Because some of y'all have some really remarkable talents and abilities that Spirit wants to use, and they want you to put up your insecurities and let people just accept you as you are, and let because you, you're awesome. Okay, you might not think you're awesome, but the world will think you're awesome. Okay, weird. Your interests have taken a different path that are than expected. It embrace the evolution. It is a beautiful part of your journey. So all this is saying is some of y'all have some very unique um, personalities, and um, you're gonna take your your personal interests. Like being in the occult is a different interest that takes you down a different path. You know what I'm saying? Because some people are afraid of that. But you trusted in going into the unknown. So it helps you embrace the evolution um, that is a beautiful part of your journey. Okay? It says, find out. You can take charge of your knowledge journey. Don't rely solely on what is handed to you. Seek, explore, read the information yourself. There's nothing new under the sun. I can't stay at a gatekeeper. I just think it's a complete waste of damn time. It makes people, to me, when I see gatekeeping, it's like somebody puts, that's ego-based. You can't know more than me because I'm in charge. I hate that shit. I hate that. I hate it. Because there's nothing new under the sun. And if you are really here to elevate people and raise the consciousness of the collective or uh, elevate your students to their best self, you're not going to gatekeep. But Spirit is saying, don't worry about gatekeepers. Go look for this information yourself. Ask the most high, ask your spirit team to lead you to the information and then study the information so you can know what you need to know. Softer. Allow yourself to embrace your gentle, gentler nature and let go of the need to be in control. Some, some people like to, this could be talking about you or your cross watcher. Somebody here likes to be in control. And they're a little rough around their edges. And Spirit is saying, you need to be a little bit more on the gentle side, okay? It says, improvise. It's perfectly fine to handle things on your own unique way, even if it div deviates from the norm. There goes that weird again. Do stuff how you do it, okay? Do it how you do it. It might just work for you to do it that way. One way is not, listen, I hate, ooh, I hate that. Ooh, I hate that. And I have, that's another thing I hate next to gatekeeping is when somebody says, it has to be just like this. I hate ritualistic things. I just can't, I can't get with it because <laughs> it's so much easier to me for me to want to do something if I can just do it my own kind of way. And that is what spirit is saying. Go ahead, improvise. Do it your own unique way. I don't give a damn if it do go across the norm. If it's going to get the job done, then do it. 
Do it, especially if it ain't hurt nobody. Okay, especially if it ain't hurt nobody. What is under what's understood? Keep your standards high and let your choices, let their choices reveal their character. Listen, there's some people doing some stuff under the moon. Every damn moon cycle. This is what I see. And these people might be doing magic. They might be gossiping. Mm-hmm. People doing stuff in the middle of the night, like you don't even know. Mm-hmm. Under the moon. Talking about you in the dark, so to speak. And spirit is saying, keep your standards high, Taurus. Don't stoop to their level. Eventually, their choices will reveal their character. All they got to do is sit back and people watch. People will see. They'll see you and they'll see them in your actions and their actions. And it will reveal everybody's character. Actions speak louder than words. All right, y'all. Let's jump into love. Spirit, what you got for Tauruses in love? Let me get five cards for Taurus. What is it that they need to know? Hmm. Somebody wants to have victory and success, Taurus. With the Ace of Swords upright, the Temperance in reverse, Knight of Wands upright, the Devil upright, and the Hierophant. Somebody wants to have victory and success over a situation that is in balance between you and them. This person feels like a good old Knight of Passion will fix everything. If I just come in and just love on Taurus just real good, it'll fix everything and I'll win. Whatever's on, out of balance will be balanced, but that is a trick. Because they feel like that's all it takes to get you in a commitment. And now they can control you with the devil. Now they can control you. They locked you in. This is somebody who is also toxic. They may have vices. They want to get you hooked it back on if you cleared, cleared that up. See, those ladies on this particular devil card, they're facing the devil. This person wants you to focus on them and they want to pull the strings and they feel like the best way to get you is just a night of passion. Well, this is about to get interesting. Spirit, clarify the Ace of Swords. Ace of Swords in reverse is clarified by the Four of Cups. In reverse, the emperor upright and the nine of pentacles upright. Yeah, somebody really wants to have victory and success with you because it looks like everything's working out for you. They want to get up and come towards you because you're the emperor. It looks like you're strategic. You're out here independently wealthy. It's looking like, shit, you done bossed up. Somebody done bossed the hell up. You looking hella stable right now. Look at all this stability. Red, red, red. That's that root chakra. Somebody feels like you bossed up. So, of course, they want to come towards you. Clarify the temperance in reverse. Temperance in reverse is clarified by the lovers in the reverse. The two of wands in reverse. The seven of wands in reverse. And the three of pentacles in reverse. This person feels like things are out of balance because y'all are not working together. Um, 
And what's sad was like, at first, this person didn't even have a plan to work with you, Tara. <laughs> they really didn't. They had no plans on y'all being partners or working with you. But now that you over here with all this stability, this person's feeling hella defeated with the seven of wands in reverse. It's like, damn, I'm out of balance with Taurus and Doris is over here stable. So they had no real plan at first on y'all ever being partners. But now that you're stable, let me come on back. Spirit, clarify this Knight of Wands. So now this person wants to take an impulse of action to seduce you with some dangling or vagina. And then they want to try to use this sex to catch you. And now with this devil and the knight of wands and the hair fire, this person could also be trying to get you pregnant. If they can have a child with you, that's also something that will bind y'all together. And that's what would happen from a knight of passion. Clarify the knight of wands in reverse. I mean, knight of wands, all right. Clarify this knight of wands, all right. Yeah, see, somebody's whole wish fulfillment is to become stress-free with the Nine of Cups upright and the Nine of Swords in reverse. That's a lot of nines. So they want to bring this stalemate thing y'all got to a close, their wish fulfillment, but they got secrets. You best believe it behind this curtain, but they want to be stress-free. They want to put an end to being stressed. They want to be stress-free. They feel like this is their personal wish fulfillment. Now, in order to get this from you, though, they got to manipulate the situation with the magician card. They feel like they got the tools they need. All they need is a good night of passion and a good, healthy amount of magic. And I got you. Maybe a little sex magic. Because they talking about putting it on you, honey. And this, ain't, this is going to be one of their most potent strokes <laughs> to get you. I ain't lying. It's got to be potent because they coming in as the devil. Care about the devil. This person knows that they didn't show you no love. They still don't have any love for you. With the Queen of Cups in reverse, Three of Wands in reverse, Ten of Swords in reverse. The whole reason, but they do for sure don't want this cycle to close. That they do know. But they know they sabotage it and they know they don't really have love for you. They don't. They just want to be toxic to you. They just want to catch you up. Clarify the hair front. The hair front is clarified by the five of wands in reverse, the knight of pentacles in reverse, the ten of the everything is fine card. This person does not want to have you in chaos and competition. And they're going to tell you that they're not offering their pinnacle to any of those other options uh, that they had you in uh, competition with. This person is like, yeah, I know I stabbed you in the back, but everything is fine because now me and you together, we going to get, you know, we in a committed relationship now, right? But there's no love in this committed relationship. This is all about finances because you're over here is the emperor and the nine of pinnacles. All right, Spirit, let me get five more cards, please. This is kind of sad. Because it feels like somebody's being very manipulative. Very manipulative. Yeah, somebody wants to come out of the cold with you. They want to head in a new direction. Yeah, death reverse. This person wants, they want to fix this. Whatever little third party thing you think that they have you in and heartache and all that pain and stuff, they want to reverse that. They don't want y'all to be at odds. They want to come out the cold, but they want you to be vulnerable. In order to marry you, they you got to get back vulnerable. You got to let your guard down. See, they're not used to you having high boundaries. So, they feel like if they can commit to you, maybe then you'll let your boundaries down. And then they can get you back under their control. Mm. Y'all got the Six of Pentacles. Six of Pentacles in reverse. Two of Swords in reverse. The Tower. 
in reverse, seven of pentacles in reverse, king of cups upright, two of cups upright. This person does not see you. They feel like the, they can't see you giving to them and if they don't reverse the tower. They can't see you giving to them. You're going to have money coming in fast, so they almost feel like they have to love bomb you to get you in this commitment. They have to because that's the only way they see it happening. They can't see you giving to them if they can't convince you to, that y'all need to reverse the tower. And they need to do it. You know, before this money, this you got money coming in fast. So they need to do it. They got to do the love bomb with the King of Cups. They got to. They got to. Yeah, see, this person sees you again. Y'all got the Empress, Emperor, and the Nine of Pentacles all sitting up here together. So their thought is, I got to get, you're the Empress, you're birthing all these new opportunities. I got to get you to talk to me. I got to message you. They know that right now they're in the Page of Pentacles in reverse. Somebody ain't got no money. So their job is trying to convince you that this coming back to them is a happy situation. That they want you to go back to feeling like they're your Ten of Cups. Maybe at one time you expressed that you felt like y'all being a family was the thing to do. So all they want to do is come in, play nice. There's still no love. This is all fake nice. Fake love. They want to play nice, give you love and kindness, act like they don't want nothing in return, but it's really stability that they're after. But they got to convince you, though, that, that they are your ten of cups. And the only way they think that they can do it is with a love bomb. Because somebody, if you're in the page of Pentacles reverse, honey, you really bad. Oh, ain't nothing financial getting off the ground. Ace of Pentacles reverse, seven of cups. Upright, four of wands, upright, judgment, reverse, will of fortune, reverse. This person feels like they're not going to get this new financial start if they keep their options. So they almost have to go into a commitment if they want stability with you. So it's like this person damn near feels like they got to damn near marry you if they want stability. They feel like though... You might not show them no mercy and you might see them as like bad luck or just a bad investment with the Wheel of Fortune in reverse. Yeah, this person wants to renew your faith. They're going to try to give you a small offer at first with the Page of Cups upright. They're not hopeful that, that this is, that'll be the thing to, you know, get this person to get you, Taurus, to... Uh, you know, they're going to come in. They ain't got a lot of hope, though, that it's going to fake the ending too much. They got to try to come in and tell you that they got rid of their third parties. Yeah, they want to come in with clarity and truth. They want to balance out the skills. They want to apologize to you for being manipulative and leaving you. But now they see you as the only and best option. Out of the two options that they had, they, they're very confident about this and they're going to try to tell you, you know, they're sorry for being mean to you and not offering you a cup. But this is all a part of their tactics of, you know, using that air. This person might have um, Aquarius or some air sign in their chart because this person really feels like you're not going to see them coming and this will get you back under control so that they can get their hands back on your Ten of Pentacles. It's like this person is very, I'm telling you, somebody that thought this out, like you're not going to see that they're a wolf in sheep's clothing. Somebody feel like they got it. That this plan is going to work. They have been sick since you left and blocked them. And, you know, it's like, yeah, they're getting attention from others, but all they're thinking about is coming back to you. This person quickly wants to head towards you because their burdens are increasing and they're in the eight of swords. So somebody is going through some shit. They got burdens and the eight of swords. So they quickly try to hot tail it back to you, um, Taurus, because they see you as the queen of pentacles and you look out. You look out. So they got to come back to you is how they feel. They got to make stuff work with you. They got to, because you holding on to your pinnacles too tight, and they need you to be more queen of pinnacles and look out for them too. Yeah, they want to get you in an attachment with the hermit. 
This is, I'm telling you, somebody that sits up and thinks on what to do, what to do to get you to attach to them. They know that they never showed you love. They know that they never got stuff off the ground with you. They know that this is going to be a hard one to pull off. So, you know, especially with you not talking and especially if they don't talk about these secrets. I'm telling you, they're just not happy with you being out here in these streets as the queen of wands. You're looking good, Taurus. You're confident. You're radiating. You went through some sort of damn transformation and it's bothering this person. They're not happy that you're out here like this. Oh, Taurus. Sound like you got a hater. Your past love is hating on you and they only want to come to you because it's looking like you if you got the emperor empress and the nine of pentacles you hella stable it's like whatever venture you had you like mega rich or on your way oh lord something just mm, my ear it's like you're mega rich some or are you on your way there you're doing something that's highly lucrative okay Spirit, let me get four cards, please. What's going on with um, Taurus and their person? Let me get four cards, please. I really want to take this earbud out because my ear. this many but i'll take them y'all got sweetener arrangement cleanse jealousy flirt lower intimacy and gifted this person sees you as very very gifted you you have a shine about you that is bright honey you cannot hide it you cannot dim it you are shining bright you got a gift you are gifted you are gifted taurus and this person sees it there is no shade it can dim your brilliance you are very very gifted and you got a very bright, shining aura about you, okay? This person is also very jealous of that light. They are. Um, they can't stand your glow up and everything that you got going on. This person, though, <clears throat> oh, Lord, they're doing love spells on you. They're crap, they might be doing a honey jar or something. Definitely something with some roses, some cinnamon, a little honey. They're right now incantations. They're sealing it. This person wants to, they're doing some sort of work on you. And they're trying to get close enough to you to get intimate with you. They feel like if they get intimate with you, if you see here, she got all these jewels. They're trying to get you to give them your jewels, which would be your money here. There's no money, but she's very stable. She got all these jewelry. See the red? That's his ability. That's the root chakra. He looks like he's trying to seduce her. And that's what's here. This person's trying to flirt. Again, more red. They're trying to hit you in the root. They get the passion. You know what I'm saying? This person's trying to come in and flirt with you and have some sort of intimacy with you. Again, might be a trap. Spirit is saying, due to all this spell work this person is doing, you need to cleanse, cleanse your body, cleanse your home. You know what I'm saying? Definitely keep smudging and doing stuff to keep keeping away negativity. Uh, this person wants to come in and make some sort of arrangement with you. They want to talk about plans and, you know, y'all building a future. That is a, a gift. Oh, sorry. I got my jammy pants on under my dress. Because I'm about to put my jammies on. <laughs> Okay, Spirit, what you got for Taurus and a person from this particular oracle? What you got for Taurus and a person? Let me get just four cards. Now, Taurus, I don't know why. I went through all them cards. Y'all's reading looks a little short, but I'm giving y'all all the information. Though. You get the same amount of information everybody else is getting. It's just I think I'm hitting your points. It's like I can tell with my spirit team. It's like they're trying to help me to hit all your points. They want me to go to bed. That's When they do this, they want me to go to bed. Because I'm like, dang, it's only been 24 minutes. How are we going through this? It does not feel like 24 minutes. feels like we've been here longer, but no, we haven't. And I've used every deck that I've used for every other sign. 
But when they do that, give me messages real fast. That's them telling me, you need to go to bed. You ready for you to go to bed. Go to bed, go to bed, go to bed. <laughs> okay, y'all. I'm going to go to bed. I do what they say. I got a lot. Listen, you got a lot of elders and ancestors and spirit team. You got a lot of people that's telling you what to do. <laughs> and I'm all right with it. Because they know more than I do. So I'll roll with it. Lord, this person with maze in reverse, this person has been in mental anguish. This is somebody who will deceive you. They feel like you have too many things on your plate and they they have too many things on their plate or you do, and they're feeling lost and they're suffering in silence and they feel like this is making things so complicated. Aquarius, somebody could be dealing with an Aquarius that's in the more negative side. This is somebody who's an extremist, moody, cold, detached, flighty. This is somebody who hides their feelings. They can be stubborn, dismissive, have a superiority complex, or even agitated at times. Y'all have toilet in reverse. This is somebody who is anxious, misunderstood, ignored. They feel exposed, unable to move forward. They feel like they have an unstoppable problem, that they've been bogged down with problems and emotional baggage. Mercury. This person feels like... <clears throat> This whole situation with you and them was short term. They feel like they made a decision without thought. And, and, and ever since then, they've been very irritable, indecisive, and critical. They feel deceptive, blunt. Um, they, they have been blunt with cruel words, very sarcastic, and very fleeting. Oh, God. Whoever's around them probably good night. They probably just work their nerves. Tarot cards. Again, somebody, it looks like they are very connected with their spirit guides. Uh, inspired act, taking inspired actions. They're overcoming their fears, uh, positive influence, happy spirituality, finding your purpose, enlightened. So you could be a tarot card reader or just, you know, look to tarot for spiritual guidance. Okay, let's get your money. <laughs> All right, Spirit, let me get three cards for Taurus. What's going on with Taurus in the money? Since they about to be... All this money, 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 money. Y'all got so much money coming out. What's going on with Taurus and their money? Sorry, y'all. I'm eating, y'all. It's getting late. And I go, I normally be in the bed real early. Spirit says, work hard in silence, Taurus. That's what you need to do. Just keep working hard in silence. Uh, be a peacemaker. You're being called to apply diplomacy and tact to a very difficult situation. You need to approach situations with a win-win attitude, especially when making business deals. The Spirit wants you to continue to be independent. If you're not self-employed, it's time for you to get onto that entrepreneur mindset. You need to consider investing and committing yourself to your own business, Taurus. Your financial freedom will come from being able to stand alone. And you can do this and you will be successful. Y'all was going to be the empress, the emperor, and the nine of pentacles. Y'all was going to have that money, honey. You can do it. Just work hard in silence. You won't, You were meant to be your own boss. That's what Spirit said. Straight from, straight from Spirit, honey. Okay, Taurus, that's it. That's all I have for you on, for your weekly reading. Thank you for joining me on I Am The Light. I do appreciate you. We went through every single deck. Hit them messages. I even went through the whole deck for the tar for the tarot. I just didn't know I was reading that fast. I'm going to have to watch it back. I feel like somebody else might be talking on my behalf because I don't even know what I said. I don't even know what the title is. But anyway, thank you, Taurus, for being here. Please hit that like, share, and subscribe. Y'all join me for the collective readings. I'm still doing collectives even though I was behind. And the reason y'all's reading got out late was because we was having technical difficulties. Somebody, you know, I be going through stuff too. People be sending me stuff. Probably some bad juju, honey. My phone wasn't working, but it is what it is. That's why we on a tablet and I got my earbuds in talking to y'all. So, because now I can't hook the uh, mic to the phone.
it's a whole t thing here. But anyway, thank you for being here. Please hit the like, share, and subscribe. Hit that notification bell, and you know when I upload. Until next time, Taurus. Bye, baby.